Hello everybody, it's the Black Car Guru back with another video and I think we need to talk about these 392s thoroughly. Alright, now the 392s and all of the Challengers, the Chargers and most um, uh, Chrysler 300s, those were not meant for boost. You can only put at least 10 pounds of boost to those 392 6.4s before they explode. The rods and the pistons are horrible, like seriously bad all over like this entire engine is bad like by itself though without adding any boost it's a damn good engine it's a it's a very good engine as far as reliability yeah but once you start modding it you're gonna run into a heck of a lot of issues even if you forge the internals you still have to deal with how weak those um cylinder walls are so here's how to make this thing nastier than an old man with a foot fetish you need to find a bge 6.4 liter hemi block now, with these BGE blocks, it's basically another term for the 6.4 liter Hemi's inside of the trucks. Now, the truck 6.4 liter Hemi blocks, they can handle a lot of abuse, a lot more abuse than the regular 6.4 liter Hemi blocks inside of the challenges and shit because, well, unlike those, these BGE blocks are cast from the same metal as the Hellcat 6.2s, making these things beefy in all the right places. You don't have to worry about warping cinder, cylinder walls and shit like that. So, so this definitely needs to be the basis of all your bills. Hell, even if you don't buy one off of um, high horse performance, you could always just go to a junkyard, find a wrecked, um, you know, find a wrecked truck with the 6.4 Hemi in it, and there you go. Snatch all the internals out, go back with forged internals, ARP head studs, a better uh, oil pump, um, port those heads, use the same, uh, use the car 6.4 liter Hemi uh, intake manifold and throw some boost at it. All right, now, if you're trying to figure out what type of boost you can run with these type of setups, yeah, you might not even want, a, it want 800 horsepower. You might just want 650 to like 700, you know, round hill cat territory. Now, the thing about boost, it's entirely up to you, but I feel like 10, 9 to 10K for a supercharger or pro charger kit is ridiculous. I mean, and you only gain in like 215 horsepower. If you're trying to aim for a thousand, I mean, a three liter Whipple will definitely get you there. But ten thousand dollars, man, you're better off building a turbo kit for like. I don't know, less than $4,000. You know, it's entirely up to you if you want to, you know, purchase a kit like this. It's definitely effective right out the box. But a lot of y'all like to save money, you know, and you have a little low budget or whatever the case may be. So crafting your own turbo kit is like the best way to go. Nitrous is fun, too.